am obstetrics and gynecology. So today I'm going to talk about cervical polyps or a cervical polyp, right? So here I'm going to talk briefly, okay? So let's talk. Remember the important point for this is usually it's seen in multiparous women, older multiparous women, okay? It can present with a single polyp or multiple, two to three, okay? What are these actually? If this is a cervix, okay? And this is a os and here you can see this polyp okay it's a polyp they are like finger like growths okay that start from the surface of the cervix or endocervical canal so it can start from either from what you call a cervix or endocervical canal okay they are very small they are very fragile okay uh, very small and they're very fragile so now what's the cause for this why they are developed so there's the cause is not understood okay so it is either it is due to what you call chronic inflammation chronic inflammation okay an abnormal response to what you call raised estrogen raised estrogen okay or sometimes it's it can be due to thrombosed cervical blood vessels thrombosed cervical blood vessels okay guys right so what are the causes the cause is not known it might be due to chronic inflammation an abnormal response to what you call uh, high levels of estrogen or thrombosed cervical blood vessels okay so how the patient presents what are the signs and symptoms, clinical features? They usually have what you call vaginal bleeding. Vaginal bleeding. Often, what you call after intercourse. Okay? Intercourse, remember. And this bleeding can occur in between what you call a normal menstrual periods. Okay? On a speculum examination, and other findings will be normal. This is really very important. Vaginal bleeding after intercourse is really very important. Okay. On the speculum examination, it reveals smooth, red, purple, finger-like projections from the cervical canal, as I discussed before. Okay. So if you take a biopsy, that's a cervical biopsy, it reveals atypical, what you call the atypical cells and the signs of infection. Okay. How do you manage? What's the management? Tell me. Polyps? You can gently twist it out, okay? Gentle twisting or by tying what you call a surgical string around the base and the cutting it off. Okay, it can be done by electrocautery or with a laser, right? Since it's an infection, so you should start with what you call antibiotic. Once you remove the polyp, you should start with the antibiotic, okay? And most of the cervical polyps are benign in nature. So nothing to worry and the regrowth or reoccurrence of this cervical polyp is really very low rate. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.